Good morning. We are so excited to be back with our webinar Wednesday series. This morning we are excited to have a special guest speaker, Ms. Holly Groff, our coordinator for food service from Enterprise Operations. And she is going to tell you all about how your student can utilize their meal plan and make the most of it here on campus. So without further ado, we're going to turn it right over to her. Thank you for having me today. Very glad to be here. Should you have any questions for what we're going to talk about today, please feel free to email me at that email address on the screen there. So what we're going to talk about today, a little bit about meal plans, some of the basics and some other points on meal plans, some of the options for all in the dining hall, what to do if your student needs special diet accommodations or an exemption request, and also a little bit about dining dollars and Bama cash because those are frequent questions in the dining services area. So a little bit about the meal plan. Meal plans are billed to the student account each semester. They're loaded onto students' action cards. First year students are automatically enrolled in the first year all access meal plan. That all access meal plan is exactly like it sounds. They have all access to the dining halls. So they can swipe in for a full meal, a snack, grab a banana, grab an entire meal, whatever works for them. There's no specific number of meals there to use and they can come as often as they would like. Why do we have a freshman dining program at the University of Alabama? On-campus dining has numerous educational, social, and dietary benefits. On-campus dining locations are close to residence halls and academic buildings. Dining halls are a great social center. Eating with others provides a sense of support and belonging, which is particularly crucial at a time when young adults are learning to live independently while forming relationships that have potential to create lasting impressions. Studies of college students across the nation show that students who eat and live on campus are more involved, have higher grade point averages, and are more likely to graduate. Here at the University of Alabama on our meal plan program, we have three all-you-care-to-eat dining locations, Lakeside Dining Hall, Fresh Food Company, and Burke Dining Hall. We have dining halls that are open from 7 a.m. to midnight, and all dining halls offer a to-go option. We also have a variety of retail options that can be used with the meal plan, including Sola in Lakeside Dining Hall, Julia's Market in Tutwiler, Terrace Market in the Witt Center in Presidential Village, Fruited in the Witt Center in Presidential Village, and Mary B's in Burke Dining Hall. So those dining hall and retail locations that I just mentioned are located across campus so that there's a convenient location wherever your student is on campus at any given time of the day. Lakeside Dining Hall is in the north end of campus in a heavy residential area. Burke Dining Hall is at the south end of campus, also in a residential area branching into the academic areas. Fresh food is right in the heart of academic areas. And then we also have the retail options that I just mentioned that are scattered across campus there. So what happens if your student goes Greek? Members of these organizations serving a minimum of 10 meals a week will automatically have their meal plan reduced to 55 meals per semester or have the option to choose an alternative meal plan. Students that would like to have 55 meals per semester do nothing there. When the university generates an official list of all new Greek members, all students on that list will be automatically downgraded from their original plan to the plan with the 55 meals a semester. The only student responsibility is to confirm their meal plan downgrade on their student account. If a student would like more than 55 meals a semester, they can change their meal plan to the bronze 90 or silver 125. Those are a set number of meals per semester, 90 or 125, or they can remain on the all access plan. They may also add the VIP membership to their 55 meals. There's no deadline to upgrade meal plans or add VIP memberships. Other important, other important info on meal plans, all access meal plan comes with test 10 guest meals. So when you're dining with your student on campus, they can treat you to a meal. The silver, bronze, and 55 plans include 10 meals as guest meals. These meals may be used for a guest or by the meal plan owner. It is important to remember that when a student checks their balance, they will not see the 10 guest meals reflected in their main balance. So for example, if your student is a Greek student and they've gone to the 55 plan, then they'll see 45 meals on their account plus 10 guest meals on their account. Again, those guest meals can be used for a guest or by the meal plan owner. 
Meal plans are a two semester commitment. Swipes expire at the end of the semester. For the Greek 55 and upperclassmen plans, unused swipes in the fall do roll into the spring and then all swipes expire at the end of the spring. All of our dining halls are set up as all you care to eat with multiple stations offering a variety of options at every meal. There's comfort and home style stations, vegetarian stations, grills, deli stations, pizza and pasta stations, walk stations, salad bars, dessert stations. So again, there's a variety of options for all in the dining hall. If your student is looking for a generally balanced meal, there's terrific options. If your student is following a specific diet or looking for specific lifestyle preferences, such as they might want a higher protein option, they might want a vegetarian meal. Vegetarian stations are featured in all three of our dining halls. Or perhaps your student is choosing to eat a gluten-free diet. We also have a gluten-free dining station in Lakeside Dining Hall that was added this year. Or maybe your student just wants some good comfort style meals. As we mentioned, all dining halls offer a to-go option. Your student can purchase a to-go box for $5 the first time that they want to use that reusable to-go box. Then each time that they want to reuse it, they just bring back that dirty box, ask for a clean box, the cashier will give them a clean box, and they fill up their box and head on their way again. So this, of course, can be used for a whole meal, but there's also creative options for using this to-go. The dining hall is just like your kitchen at home. So maybe you wanna stash something in your room for later. Fill up that to-go container with cereal and ask for that to-go cup that you can also get and fill that up with your milk for a snack later. Fill up your to-go container with fruit to take back to your dorm room. Maybe your student's heading to a study group. Take a to-go box full of cookies or any dessert like Rice Krispie treats or cereal bars or brownies or blondies. Um, take that dessert to share to your study group there. So we do have a variety of options for all in the dining hall, but what if your student needs something further beyond that? Should your student need something further beyond that, there is a special diet accommodation process. You can visit the food allergies tab of the website, bamadining.ua.edu, and your student can submit a special diet accommodation form with their medical documentation. The accommodation process is individualized and interactive, but can often include access to special products, at Lakeside, we have an allergen awareness room. Students with accommodations can have access loaded on their action card to tap into this self-service room with a variety, variety of special products and designated equipment used to reduce cross-contact risks. We also frequently use text-ahead ordering for items and meals that may need to be prepared separately. Again, that accommodation process is individualized and interactive though. So please encourage your student to submit that form and contact me should they have questions about that. We do have a robust accommodation process, but should you feel that your, the meal plan is not right for your student due to their um, special dietary needs, there is an exemption request process. This can be found on the freshman section of the meal plans tab of the website, bamadining.ua.edu. This is submitted again with medical documentation and then this request will be reviewed. There is a deadline attached to this, July 15th for the fall semester and December 1st for the spring semester. There is no deadline for accommodation and that can be submitted at any time. I do recommend that new students submit that before they move on to campus. Even if they don't think they're going to need anything, it's great to have that on file. However, they can do that at any time if they find they need something once they're on campus. So what about dining dollars? That's another question that parents often have. All undergraduate students enrolled in nine credit hours or more on campus will participate in the dining dollars program. So again, that's all undergraduate students, not just freshman students. The dining dollars fee of $350 is charged to the student account automatically when the nine credit hour criteria is met in the fall and spring semesters. A hundred dollar dining dollars fee is also charged during the summer semester when undergraduate students are enrolled in five credit hours or more. Just like the meal plan, dining dollars is an account on the action card. With the meal plan and dining dollars, the students should be covered for meals during their first year, and it should be able to assist with budgeting. 
For example, students can stop in and get a snack, a soft drink, a coffee, or a full meal. They have the option of all of the dining halls that we discussed, plus the option of these retail locations anywhere on this map, anywhere on campus, accepts dining dollars. In addition, dining dollars can be used for on-campus vending, at Buffalo Phil's on the Strip, and for pizza delivery from Domino's. Dining dollars are also accepted at all of the food trucks on campus that we partner with. If your student doesn't use all of their dining dollars, they roll in the fall spring, in the fall semester, they roll to the spring semester and stay on in that dining dollar account. At the end of the spring semester, students may request a refund of remaining dining dollar funds. If a refund is not requested, the remaining funds are transferred into the student's Bama Cash account. We'll talk about that in just a second. Additional funds cannot be added to the dining dollars account. If you would like to add funds to your action card, you may do so with Bama Cash. So again, moving on to Bama Cash here. Bama Cash is another account on the action card. A little bit different in dining dollars though. Dining dollars we said are for all undergraduate students and we know that those funds are loaded um, from the student account once a student is registered in a specific number of hours. Bama Cash accounts are optional. With a prepaid deposit of funds, you can then use your action card to make purchases at participating locations. Bama Cash has accepted all locations that dining dollars are accepted and there are over a hundred on and off campus locations that accept Bama Cash. We hope this helps clear up a few questions that you may have about meal plans. Should you have more, please feel free to contact me. Check out our website, bamadining.ua.edu, and feel free to email for general questions, mealplans at bamadining.com, or give us a call. Awesome, thank you so much, Holly, for being here with us this morning. Parents and family members, we really hope that this helps you utilize the resources that you can share with your students, how they can take advantage of our dining halls on campus, and as well as the other opportunities around campus that they can use their meal plans, their dining dollars, as well as their Bama Cash to know what they are able to eat around campus and all of the opportunities they're able to take advantage of. We wanna thank Holly so much for being here this morning. And if you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out to Bama Dining or contact Parent and Family Programs. And we look forward to seeing you again next week with another episode of our Webinar Wednesday. Have a great day and roll tide.